Alright, lads and lasses. Well, Robert, here's your box. It's full of all sorts of little, 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 little sneak peek. Uh, little bits and pieces I've got there for you, but here is the Hasbro bits that I've kind of had or picked up for virtually nothing. Uh, obviously, I will be sending you the video to watch of the other stuff you can get. Uh, obviously, just let us know which ones you want. But we've got Brute House here. And uh, I've noticed you got quite a lot of the jumpy ones. So here's another jumper one for you. Oh, face first into the side of the box. There you go, he's in there. And the dragon. Nice one of the dragon. We'll uh, flip him in the box as well. Oh, off the side of the box as well. Second. Second chance. There you go. And then there's Marty. Party, hearty, Marty, Jenny. And this guy's pretty unique because he's the only one who has the pull down with his arm to make him shorter uh, action feature, which doesn't actually do that much apart from maybe punch somebody and uh, I guess maybe nut them in the chin. But you can kind of use his little humpty back bit to uh, still make him a jumper. Wow! Feel the power! Now the rest aren't jumpers, so I've brought along my assistant, the lovely Gary Bar Smith. I'm from Darby or something like that. And uh, as you can see, he's the press slammer, which you'll know, because everybody's got Davy Boy. Got about three now. <laughs> the band's got a Davy Boy. He loves playing with these little wrestlers, it's great. Great to see him play with the, with the old Hasbros. So basically, all the ones he's got are the ones that I've already got and you've already got. So uh, nobody's, nobody's none, uh, none getting hurt for it. So. And here's Rick, the model. Looking like Sylvester Stallone there, you hey, yo. Oh yo, throw me in the box, man. Ooh, there you go. There you go, buggy, right at the back. And then you got Ric Flair, woo! Now, I do like the fact they use the Ravishing Rick Rude body, because it means that he has this sort of, like, wrinkly, saggy knees. Kind of just like the real Ric Flair, so... Davy boy, if you wouldn't mind doing the business, and uh, giving Rick. Oh, Ric Flair, he's hanging on there like the Royal Rumble. Get in there. There you go. And then you've got the greatest tag team to ever be in the WWF. It is, was it high, not high energy, it was um, something heart. <laughs> it wasn't the Heart Foundation, they were called something else, weren't they? And as you can see, this one is a rag, look at the state of that. Looks like he's wearing some kind of, somebody else's body. Uh, but unfortunately that's the only one I've got to give you. And, you know, like you say, get one of each and then you can always sort of, Upgrade as you go, um, so there's one heart and the, the great anvil there with his little fat belly. So uh, anvil, get in there, Owen, get in there. Here comes the bumblebee, and then you got the berserker. Not the, the oh yes, it was the berserker, and uh, basically just hacksaw Jim Duggan with a uh, hat on. And he's gonna go in there too. And then finally, this is a fairly uh, sort of really kind of weird looking British Bob Baker because his uh, his eyebrows have kind of gone on this one, and he's kind of very wild eyed. And this is not my cocaine face at all. Get in there. So that's all them in there for you now. I'll shut the lid. Make the bulldog do a push up on the top. There you go. So, check out the next video that I'll be sending you. Personal message type style. Uh, let us know what you want. And then, bada bing, bada boom, we'll get sorted. So, catch ya later on.